Hey everybody, it's Never, and I was working on the uh, legendary quest line to get the uh, Dragon Wrath, Terragos' Rest, out of the Firelands. And I wanted to go over some of the hard parts for that. The first bits are where you've got to collect a million of these things, and, and once you get all of those, then you've got to do some complicated parts with four of the bosses. And I wanted to go over how to do each of those. Essentially, each of them has three components. One is you pick up an item off the ground. Two, or well, three items off the ground. Two, you combine the three items into another item. Three, you place that item on the ground and it gets something done to it. And then three and a half, you pick that item up again. So I guess there's four. Uh, so uh, some of these are really difficult to do and one of them requires another person in the group but I found a way you can solo this and I wanted to demonstrate it so here I am going to get Shannox um, this is the one I would recommend doing first and so what I'm doing is instead you you send your pet in to aggro one of the dogs and then you just stay kinda near the boss but a little ways away and he will put a crystal prison trap down that's it right there and so then you've got a uh, taunt one of those dogs or DPS them enough to follow you and get it to get trapped in the trap. So the dog goes in the trap and then you go break that crystal prison out and then the item will be down there on the ground. But you can't pick it up because you'll just get interrupted to craziness and so if you've got a speed boost thing what you can do is you've got to have a good speed boost. Uh, rogues will find this part pretty easy. Um, you just run away and then use your speed boost and run back as quickly as you can and then try to pick up the item see it's that little crystal there pick up the item before you can if you don't get that you can just spam it and eventually you'll get lucky and you'll have a full second of uninterrupted looting to where you can actually pick the thing up that's what I ended up having to do just to prove it can be done even with the dogs all beating on you and Shannox so there I got it and then all you need to do is uh, you can wait and do the rest of it here or you can actually run out and reset the fight. Um, not a big deal. I chose to just go and reset it so I could make sure I get it right. Um, and you've got to pick up three of those things so I actually had to repeat this three times. The tricky thing is I don't have a pet because I'm a druid. And so you can use a trinket that spawns things that can go fight stuff for you. That can work but it's a little tricky. Make sure it's a trinket with something that's got a, low, uh, a short cooldown and something that lasts a while. There's some engineering trinkets that work nicely for that. As a druid, I just specced into Force of Nature and sent some treants to do it. You can also just have another person there, and if that person um, can be there and uh, drag stuff into the Crystal Prison, then you don't even have to worry about the speed boost and separating yourself from whatever it is you're fighting. It's just that easy. So once you've got that, then... Um, then you want to fight Shannox again, or continue fighting the same time if you can get three of the things from him. But just don't kill him, otherwise you'll be stuck for the rest of the, the rest of the whole thing. You're going to want to combine the three pieces. Uh, since Shannox, you can do him so close to the portal, the instance portal. I recommend just doing this in two parts. Just reset the fight by running out of the instance. So once he does that, he'll do Hurl Spear, and you want to drop that thing on the ground right before he throws Hurl Spear off, and then he'll drop it, and you can loot the thing. You'll see the loot bag icon, and you can just pick it right up. And then once you've got it, check it in your inventory, make sure it's good, and then just burn him down, and that's it. If you've got the changed piece uh, that you put down, then make sure you make sure you don't wipe and screw this up, or you'll have to collect the pieces again, and it really sucks. So that's how you do the Shannox part of it. Next we're going to look at the next boss I did, which is the spider whose name I can't really pronounce. Billy Lilith Lilac. Um, I did this all in one go. You just want to wait, wait, let these guys just swarm around you and wait for one of the Cinderweb drones to come out. As soon as the drone comes out, then you're going to want to go and kill it. And he'll drop all three of the fragments you need. They're hard to see. So you might need to kill some stuff, but they're little blue things down there, so you grab three of them. And then um, after you've got all three of those fragments, you're going to um, kill one of the spinners, and then uh, take that little thing that you can hop onto, and then go up there and you just want to fight the spider until she does the ability Smoldering Devastation. You can see it counting up on Deadly Boss mods. And so right before Smoldering Devastation's about to go off, you want to make sure that you put that thing down. 
and just stick it on the ground and smoldering devastation will uh, will sort of uh, ignite it and uh, you can see it happen and then as soon as that happens smoldering devastation will go off and then it'll change the thing into the crystal you need and you can just pick it up and then just burn the boss down it's a really good idea if you fall down you get up as fast as you can or these spiders will start chain stunning you in your your toast but as long as the important thing is if you put the thing down make sure that the th the the ability happens and you pick it up again or you'll have to go and get a new one the only one that that's difficult on is shanox so the rest of this is pretty easy but you just uh, you just kill all the stuff and once you've got the item in your inventory just burn the boss down so um, for uh, for a list resort um, you've got to wait for the eggs to be dropped. You'll see two large eggs dropped by phoenixes in the middle of the thing, and they'll each have one fracture under it. So you've got to wait through two entire phases so you can get three of them. There will actually be more than you need, but uh, wait for the eggs to drop, and then uh, kill the hatchlings, and just loot the little pieces that they dropped underneath them until you've got three. Once you've got three uh, in your inventory, then you combine them. You don't even need to enter the air phase at all for this for this for the way this fight is done. Um, you just need to uh, combine the items and then when the time you want to put them down is um, when she gets grounded um, she'll have when she gets grounded she'll have her energy bar and it'll start to uh, count up and so when it's about like I'd say 75 percent just put the item down in the middle and then when she reaches full power she'll do this big explosion thing It'll change the item and you'll be able to pick it up again and then just finish off the fight. That's a list resort. Uh, that's all you got to do for that. And then um, finally with the other one, um, with the guy that runs in the circles, uh, I mean, he's he's so easy, I don't even need to show it. All you got to do is just DPS one of his legs a little bit or, or, or ignore him completely and run around the outside right on the coast um, edge where the lava is. Just keep running in circles. You'll see three other things and then... Um, you'll see, th and then you'll uh, you'll put them together, and then you'll put it down. And he does an ability that you want to put it down for. Um, I need to look it up though, because I can't remember what it is. Uh, Lord Ryloth, he, it's concussive stomp. You'll see it on deadly boss mods um, when he's about to do it. Just wait until it's got like five or ten seconds left until he does it. Um, put the thing down. He'll do concussive stomp, and then just go grab it. It's it's really easy. None of these guys can kill you if you're level 100. Um, and you can do this on like you can do this on 10 man, I think, uh, like 10 man normal or something. Uh, so you know, don't even make it difficult for yourself. I did it on 25 man normal just because I wanted to make sure they had enough health that I didn't need to like accidentally kill them while doing this stuff. But you don't really need to do any mechanics with the bosses at all. You barely need to interact with anything to get this done. So that's how you do the really hard part the rest of it is just it's face roll you just go to the little portal in the uh, northwest corner of the firelands raid go through there you'll see some cool stuff it's all so easy at level 100 and then you'll be that much farther along your quest and then you'll find that you have yet another phase where you need to kill every boss in firelands over and over again for like 10 weeks so that's the short version of how to do the annoying and difficult part of dragon wrath and um, i i hope that was helpful to someone if you can equip a staff um, and you're not a warrior, then go check it out. It's a pretty cool thing, and it'll help your guild out. You can get a legendary achievement for your guild if you do it while you're in a guild, so they'll like that. And it gives you a really cool staff. So thanks for watching. Please pass the video along to anyone you know who might be doing this to help them get through some of the difficult parts. And um, look forward to a video I'll be doing as soon as I get a good opportunity on some of the tr the tricky parts for uh, Shadowborn. There's, uh, there's a couple of those that I'll be covering. Uh, please like the video if it helped you. Subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think or other stuff that you'd like me to cover. I do a lot of old runs and achievements and things like that because I just I get a kick out of the content and it's sometimes nice to do it without having to worry about 24 other people going nuts on you and wrecking stuff. Uh, I guess I'm kind of reclusive that way in some ways. But, uh, okay, thanks, bye.